If you've been following along with Drug Talk since the beginning, you'll notice that this video seems a little bit different than the others. I've purchased a green screen and some lighting for a little studio and decided to make the show a little more interesting. Or at least maybe a little more professional. In any case, let's talk about drugs. Today, we're going to be talking about a medication known as levothyroxine. Thyroxine was actually isolated in its pure form for the first time in 1914. This was done by the Mayo Clinic. Later, in 1927, the hormone was actually synthesized. Charles Harrington and George Barger get the credit for that. Fast forward to 2011, and levothyroxine was actually the second most prescribed medication in all of the United States. They prescribed almost 24 million prescriptions of levothyroxine that year. If you're ever prescribed this medication, and you look at your vial, you may notice it come under some different names. In Canada, it comes under two brand names. Synthroid and Altroxin. There is actually an IV and an IM form, but usually it's taken orally. In terms of the actual dosing of each tablet, it's pretty interesting with levothyroxine is that it comes in a wide variety of dosage forms. This is because when you start taking this medication, you start on a low dose and your doctor follows along with your blood work and your blood levels and adjusts the dose accordingly. Something else that's interesting about these tablets is that where most medications are prescribed in milligrams, levothyroxine is prescribed in micrograms. So although your tablet may be up to say 200 micrograms or even higher, your dose is still pretty small compared to other medications. That's because we're just replacing hormone that your thyroid gland is no longer producing or producing at a diminished level. Some people may start on higher doses if, for example, they've had their thyroid gland removed. In adults over the age of 50 who have no cardiac disease, they usually start off on a dose of about 25 to 50 micrograms. Then the physician will increase the dose or titrate the dose by about 12.5 micrograms to 25 micrograms as he sees accordingly. Adults over 50 with cardiac disease Start off on a lower dose, so 12.5 to 25 milligrams, and then are followed a little more closely when they're titrating it. In Canada in general, we titrate more closely and more specifically than they do in the United States. Elderly patients in general often require less initial dosing, usually about 20 to 25 percent less than a young individual, because of specific decreases in parts of their body mass. Interestingly, people who are in a coma require, require less levothyroxine than people who are not. Now, if you're taking levothyroxine, meaning you've been prescribed it by your physician, it's typically administered in the morning about 30 or 60 minutes before the first meal of the day. If you're not interested in swallowing tablets, you can actually crush up the tablet and put it into 5 to 10 mils of water and drink it immediately. In Canada, they say you can sprinkle it on some foods, like applesauce for example. You mainly just want to avoid foods that are high in some things like, say, fiber. Most people that use levothyroxine are using it because they have low levels of the hormone in their blood. This is called hypothyroidism. Now, it can be used in some other cases. As an example, here's a tongue twister for you. Pituitary thyrotropin stimulating hormone suppression. Some people actually require it after undergoing radiation therapy as well. An interesting off-label use for levothyroxine is actually cadaveric organ recovery. See, they use the hormone as a way to resuscitate the organ. Some contraindications to using levothyroxine would be uncorrected adrenal insufficiency, overt thyrotoxicosis, an acute myocardial infarction, and if you manage to get your hands on a capsule, the inability to swallow would also be another contraindication. For different reasons, Physicians use extra caution when they're prescribing or dosing individuals who have osteoporosis, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Some side effects people notice when they're taking levothyroxine are chest pain, anxiety, weight loss, some gastrointestinal side effects like abdominal cramps or diarrhea,
headache, occasionally increased liver enzymes, and very rarely some skin conditions. In the average age group, luckily, levothyroxine seems to be very well tolerated. A lot of these side effects are rare. My tip to you, if you're taking levothyroxine, is make sure that you keep your physician appointments, take the medication as prescribed, and always be sure to get your blood work done. That's all we're going to talk about today with levothyroxine. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, next medication, as you may have seen on my post on our business page on Facebook, is going to be sertraline. Following will be bupropion, as well as lorazepam. Again, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.